So as an iOS owner, there may be times where you get locked out of your device, your screen time, your Apple ID. And while there are ways to recover your accounts and passwords, I personally don't like risking getting locked out. So that's where this video comes into play. I'm going to be showcasing PassFab's iPhone unlock software, and I've personally used it to recover a password on my phone before. So when they hit me up and asked if I want to make a video on the software, I said I'd be more than happy to. I'll be walking you guys through the software itself as well as showing you guys some examples. But if you guys do enjoy it, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out PassFab using the first link in the description. Let's get right into it so this is actually the link that i'll put in the description to actually downloading it you can actually get a free trial for this and just try it out for yourself and it shows literally the different types of examples of passwords that it can remove as well as deleting apple account passwords screen time remote management all that stuff and it shows a step-by-step -step process but once you actually download the software itself this is the menu that you're faced with and let me quickly walk you guys through the different options so starting off there is the unlock ios screen it removes the different types of screen locks like four digit six digit passcode touch id face id etc removing the screen time password is also an option as well as removing the apple id mdm which is mobile device management and then also password manager so for all these different options you actually need one main thing and that's actually gonna be usb to lightning cable to actually connect your phone to so let me quickly do that so basically this is how it works so my usb to lightning cable right here i'm literally just gonna plug it into the usb on my case and then i'm gonna take this end and i'm actually going to go down over here to my phone Jeez, i can't do it with one hand but we're actually gonna do that there and now that it's connected, we just need to press trust device, put in our password, and just like that, we're going to be good to go. All right, so now that we have the iPhone actually connected, what we're going to do is we're going to do the screen time password. So let's do this. We'll do start to remove, and then it's going to actually give us steps, and it will give us instructions to this. I'm actually not going to disable this because I don't want to disable my Find My iPhone, but if you were to actually have to recover it, this is the process that you would do. Now coming back here, I'll quickly show you what the process looks like for password manager. You start scanning, continue scanning, and what it's actually going to do is it's going to scan for all my saved accounts and passwords and i'm gonna have to blur the screen in a second just because i don't want all of my stuff getting leaked it's pretty self-explanatory all right so it actually pulled up my passwords but we're not gonna actually show that just because i don't want you guys seeing my passwords obviously that just makes sense i don't want anything getting hacked so basically that is actually that now these two are only if you absolutely need it i'm not going to do it because i don't want to wipe my phone completely but worst case scenario if you forgot your phone password you don't want to lock yourself out of your phone completely this is the best way to do it so you can either remove your apple id this will remove the apple id erase all data on the device back up the device to avoid losing data and then your device will be updated to the latest ios version please ensure your device has enough power and then also unlocking the ios screen is the exact same thing it's literally the exact same same process it'll pretty much wipe it to a blank phone but you want to make sure that you back up your phone in the first place just in case you don't have it backed up already because you're going to want to restore all your apps and your passwords and your accounts and stuff like that because this is basically going to give you a clean brand new iphone essentially and you'll just be able to change the password restore your backup and you'll be able to recover your password at the end of the day it might seem easier and more simple to just guess the password on your phone and just see if you can get it right but the risk that you run with that is locking yourself out of your device and potentially locking yourself out permanently so i highly recommend that you use a software like this and passfab's iphone unlocker literally is free for you to try out so i don't understand why you wouldn't do that and instead of risking something like locking yourself out of your phone you guarantee the success of actually being able to reset your password and restore from a backup it's literally a no-brainer but yeah that's pretty much going to do it for the video guys if you guys did enjoy and you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe go show some love to the people over at passfab massive thank you to them for actually allowing me to make this video on their product if you guys are interested in this this software for yourself because you have had a problem like this with your iPhone. Make sure to go check it out. You can literally get a free trial so there's no upfront cost. Check out that first link in the description as well as the pinned comment to actually check it out for yourself today. I hope this does help you out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.